back to this domination on North Port. It's your boy Wham Whamson here again, bringing you this low quality and enable, not actually low skill, uh, War Thunder gameplay. Generally do really good in naval. I don't know what that says about me, but I have fun playing it, and I think more people should get in here and play it. It can be a lot of fun, and the SL rewards are very good. And I hear people complaining about going broke from the grind in this game all the time. But I stay around 3 million after playing Naval a lot, so I don't know, man. Maybe you should get in here. Yeah, we got one already. Bunch of misses. I don't know how I feel about this Asheville. It's not a bad boat, but it's not really a good boat. The gun overheats really fast, and you only get one. So, if you're in here against a bunch of coastal boats, it's uh, surprisingly effective. But if you have to go up against destroyers, well, kiss your boat goodbye. Man, I'm getting double teamed. I feel like my mom on a Friday night. Oh no. There we go. Get some hits in. Yeah. Coastal is my favorite mode. I like it better than all of the others. The big ships are okay at a lower BRs, but once you get to the higher BRs, you start getting thrown in with ships that you can't pin their armor, and they can one-shot you. That makes it a little less than choice. Yeah. Get that crispy assist. Let's go. <laughs> Is that a Tukankari? Hmm. We got a wee lad here. Looks like a bot. Now this lobby's not so bad. It's half people, half bots. We need more people to get into naval and play, bro. You get frustrated with ground, you get frustrated with air, you just need a break from the regular grind. Try playing the coastal boats is way more fun than the regular naval. And I'm pretty sure, listening to some of the old school guys talk about it, that the coastal boats were the first thing that they added to the game uh, when they were adding naval modes. Yeah, I love it when my AI just opens up and I'm like, man, are you even hitting anything? Oh, he hit something there. Now I'm getting shot and my gun will not point in that direction. Let's go. Way too far back of the degree to get an over the shoulder. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing more satisfying than wasting these small little boats with a three inch gun. <laughs> Look at that poor guy. He didn't stand a chance that over there. Even though I'm good at this mode and I play it regularly ish, I still don't identify the other boats right off hand. I don't know if it's just the way my brain works, but I just never been in any of the other tech trees very much and I don't read the kill feed so I just look at the size and I'm like, ooh, a small guy, let's get him. <laughs> I envy people like, what, Spookston, who can hear something from across the map, and they're like, oh, well, that's, a, that's a BLT, or that's a Panzer, you know what I mean? Old bro's got ears of gold. Oh, they got me. I got three targets destroyed. 
four assists. That's not bad. Capture the zone. I like to cap zones like, you know, they intended for the game mode. Even though most people avoid it because it's a death sentence. It's not usually so bad in naval. Maybe you capture the zone and get off of it. Don't stay there. And the PBY Catalina is, yes, one of my favorite planes. Something about the idea of a flying boat, just, man, it appeals to my, my sensibilities. I nerd out over stuff like that, uh oh. It looks like they're capturing two caps, we can't be having that. Now that being said that I love this boat, I'm running the mines on it, and I don't think I've ever got a hit with the mines. Maybe once I dropped one directly on someone, but as far as planting them somewhere or getting them planted on a cap early match, I've never been able to pull that off. Maybe I'm just not that cool, I don't know. If you play the naval modes at all, tell me below, what is your favorite boat? Why do you like it? I think one of my favorites was the PT-565. Because it was the first one that I got rockets on. And even though rockets are horrible to use in this game, I just love them. Because they're rockets. Who doesn't love rockets? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I'm sideways. Oh, there went my mind. Uh, not good. Yeah, gonna be missing that wing. Ooh. One thing I've never done either is actually managed to land this thing. To like get a cap or something. I'm not even sure that you can do it. I remember when I was flying it in Air Arcade. I was like, ooh, let's see if I can land in this pond. And I landed in a pond, and it was like, uh, you will leave your vehicle. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't know. I've been playing this game for a few years, but since I don't focus on what other people do and focus on what I want to do, I sort of don't know the meta and kind of kind of like a noob regardless of what my skill level is in some things I just guess it's not my personality to care what other people do or think which is why I'm capable of shamelessly producing these horrible YouTube videos that nobody really wants to watch <laughs> and, and making sure that I post one every day just cause you know why not post one every day? What if someone does benefit from it? What if there's if there's one person out there that likes these or gets any kind of enjoyment or entertainment out of it, then that's enough for me. You know, I hope that anybody who gets frustrated with the game or has a bad time and watches one of my videos and then is like, you know, I'm gonna try this or I'm gonna do something different and then continues to enjoy the game. A lot of people lose sight of enjoying the game, which is, you know, kind of why you should play a game, is so that you can enjoy it. Maybe that's just me. But people get caught up in the grind and the competitiveness, and then they don't like their experience, and then they say bad things about the game when it's really a reflection of their own self but they don't have the emotional quotient to admit that it is yeah target destroyed they don't have the emotional quotient to admit that they're pretty much talking about themselves <laughs> don't be like that guys you've got to look at the truth and see what's there don't look for what you think things should be. Look for what they are. There's your life advice for the day. From me. Wow.
Alarms. What am I? What am I alarming for, bruh? Like, is that the low? Oh. Hmm. I think it's alarming that I'm going to hit something, but I don't think I'm going to hit something. I feel like it's glitching out. Not that this game would ever do that, right? Am I right? <laughs> I don't mind making commentary for these videos. I had a friend suggest that I should do so. So I'm trying. And uh, doing the best that I can. Kind of hard sometimes when you're playing some of these longer matches to stay focused. Oh, look, it's the mines I dropped. <coughs> <coughs> hey, guys, why don't you find the enemy? But yeah, you'll be playing these longer matches, and it's, you know, not always something that you can say unless something is occurring. And sometimes in naval, there is just dead spots in the match. As you see here, I've managed to recapture B. And now we're bleeding their tickets, but let's see how it turns out. I think that's the only thing that gets me in naval is when you uh trying to shoot someone and they're behind a hill and you waste your your rounds on the dirt. You know, they make you pay for those. That's our tax money, bro. <laughs> Oh man, if you play this mode with headphones, you are in, bro. Turn up the bass. Sounds awesome. All the people shooting. I also love to hear the captain yelling commands. My favorite is when the match is over and he's like, We're going home. Brew some coffee. <laughs> Makes my day every time. I just think that, you know, Naval gets a bad rap. And I can understand why some people have a dim view of it. Because there are problems with the mode. But if the players of good conscience don't uh, exploit those problems, they're less of a problem. Like, I don't know how to explain it better than that. Like, if you know something is a douche move, you should not do it. Just like when I'm flying in air. If somebody sets a plane on fire, I don't shoot at them anymore. I back away and let them have the kill. I don't know. It just seems gentlemanly to me to do so. I'm a firm believer in uh, having like a code of honor or a set of morals. That's one of the things that seems to be lacking some in today's society. All of the institutions and all of the people have discarded their morals and discarded their code of honor and replaced it with the corporate greed for profit. And that really causes a lot of dehumanization, which then makes people behave in a less human fashion. And causes a lot of the dysphoria and problems that we see in society. You have people with a poor mental self-image. They're not happy. They carry their sadness around and spread it on everyone. When if you were firmly in control of yourself and you knew who and what you were and you felt strong about that it would be a lot harder for people to get swayed by the the evil and the negativity that goes around everywhere these days <coughs> I mean I'm no white knight or anything like that but I grew up reading books about that sort of thing and it appeals to me you know being strong being of good faith, being of good moral character, 
that's how people should be. Uh, maybe I'm naive, but I grew up in a society where, you know, it was a small town. You knew everybody. Everybody knew you. And you couldn't pass gas. Somebody's grandma was telling somebody else's grandma what you ate last week. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it looks like the match is winding down here. And we are not going to win. I am not going to make it to the cap on time. So close, right? If you've been here with me watching, I super appreciate you. Do me a favor and like, subscribe, leave a comment below, tell me what I do right, tell me what I do wrong, both in playing War Thunder and in producing these videos. And most importantly, you have a good day and you don't let anything get you down.